You see, God created the heavens and the earth. God created Adam and Eve, so therefore He created us. God created everything in between from the heavens and the earth, from the oceans to the sky. God created every living, live, living creature on this planet. You see, God created Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve was on this earth from the get-go. You see, Adam and Eve was living in peaceful world in the Garden of Eden. But God said this one tree that you cannot eat from. And that is from the tree of good and evil. And guess what? Adam and Eve ate from the tree of good and evil, and sin was born. Sin was placed on this earth because Adam and Eve created, because Adam and Eve ate in from the tree of good and evil. You see, since Adam and Eve sinned, we sinned 20,000 years later. And since we sinned, there is a separation between us and God. And that separation is sin. You see, there was this person named Adam. No, Abraham. God had Abraham on this earth, and what happened was the he had the Abrahamic covenant, which he, God said that he would be blessed with generations from him and bless him in the land. So from generations to generations to generations, we all have sinned. But the prophecies in the Old Testament, like in Isaiah, Isaiah was a prophet in the Old Testament. He mentioned of the Messiah. The Messiah it was is God's Son who was set on earth to forgive us and die on a cross. You see, in the New Testament, in the Gospels, we have Mary. Mary was Jesus' mother. Mary was set to marry Joseph. You see, Joseph and Mary was engaged. And back then, when um, only a married couple was allowed to have a baby. So when the angel Gabriel told Mary that she was going to have a baby, and it was the Holy Spirit that was going to make her pregnant, not Joseph. Back then, that time... It was frowned upon from being pregnant when you're not married. So Mary kind of had to hide her pregnancy. But the angel gave her, told her, do not be afraid. So since, so since Jesus was inside Mary's womb at the time, he became flesh. He became human. Jesus is fully human. Jesus is fully God. You see, Jesus was on this earth to live a perfect life. Jesus was without sin. That is why he died on the cross to forgive our sins. Because if a sinful man died on the cross to forgive us, that's not how it works. You see, Jesus was a sinless man. Jesus did not sin. Jesus went and taught the nations. Jesus got 12 people to follow him. He had 12 disciples to go help him spread the news of him that he is there to save us in to follow him because he is the only way to heaven. You see, later on in the story, after Jesus preached and preached and preached to the nations, the Jews did not like it. But the Jews could not condemn him to death. So the Jews turned in 
turn him into the Romans. So the Romans can crucify him on the cross. But now you're probably thinking, why would God send his perfect son to earth to die on the cross? Well, you see, Jesus died on the cross to forgive our sins. You see, Jesus died on the cross to forgive our sins because a sinless man died on the cross to take all of our sins and lay it on him so that we, be, we become closer to God because sin separates us from God and Jesus is the bridge for us to go over sin and to be with God. So after Jesus died on the cross and was crucified on the cross, three days later Jesus rose from the dead and was fully alive. He was still fully human. He is still fully God. It, some people doubted him, thinking that it wasn't him. But he said, put your finger through the holes of my hand. So after the resurrection of Jesus, he still went and told people the good news of him. And then later on down the road, Jesus told the disciples that I'm leaving the earth. I'm going back up to heaven and that it's that I'll send the Holy Spirit into your and he he told the disciples to go to all nations, baptize. Uh, he told the disciples to go to all nations, teaching them the good news and baptizing them in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. And that he is with us from the beginning to the end. Now, um... Since Jesus forgave us, we must forgive others. So, when Jesus went into heaven, he promised that he is coming back soon. We don't know when he's coming back, but we must be ready. We must tell our we must tell our friends and family that Jesus saves, and especially the ones who are not following him, who are not Christ followers. We must tell them that Jesus is coming. So since Christ forgave us, since Christ is taking upon our sin, we must forgive others who do wrong to us. Since Christ forgave us, we must forgive others. And then, Jesus is the king. Jesus is the king of the heaven and of the new earth. The new earth is just like the Garden of Eden. We'll live in peace. The new earth will just be like the Garden of Eden, where we were with, without sin. It was peaceful, and we were with God 24-7. And there will be no sin that can separate us from God when we are in the new earth.